Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Dose. Welcome to my squirrel feeder back there. Let's see if you can see my squirrel feeder. Let's see if there's... Oh. <laughs> Let me see if it's in here. There we go. You see him back there? I don't know if you can see him. Oh, he was just on there jumping off. All right, let's let's scroll back out. You don't want to see my see a close up of my mug. So, it's the weekend. Well, maybe technically not yet. You got to still get your work in, get it done. I'm going to give you right now the ABCD method. ABCD method to keep the weight off over the weekends. It's one of the probably biggest struggles that I hear from people, particularly as we get older, as our, our bodies that we're running and gunning all week long. And then maybe the only chance for us to come up and catch a breath of air and maybe even, you know, relax a little bit, kind of take the pressure off from a busy week. Um, that's typically what happens. And then you tend to get in the way. You let loose a little bit too much. Maybe you want to reminisce back in the day in your college years or, or maybe life before kids. And and now uh, you're realizing that you just can't do that anymore. You can't eat like you were a college student. You can't drink and booze like you were back, uh, you know, in your early years. And maybe you're doing that and maybe that's what's in getting in your way. But I want to help you right now. I got an ABCD method for you to help you truly help you keep the weight off in the weekend. Can you imagine if like Mark... I do really well, this is for you, if you do really well during the week. Maybe you actually have it dialed in. You have your workout scheduled. You even maybe plan out some meals. You actually avoid the alcohol. You even avoid the snacks and the treats. And then maybe there's a trigger that says, well, I did really, really well Monday through Friday. I deserve, I deserve to take a break on the weekends. And trust me, I felt that before in the past. So that's why I'm pretty in tune with it and what happens um, over the weekends and how it's easy to get sidetracked, get uh, kind of saboteured, if you will. The weekends can definitely become, I've said this before, your weekend, especially if you're trying to lose weight. So I have an ABCD method to help you avoid weight gain over the work over the weekend. So the first one is the most important one. Honestly, it's the most important thing. If you get this one thing, if you get the A right, if you can actually just grab a hold of this A and take it and run away with it and head into the weekend, you're actually going to be better off and you probably even come out. But I'm going to give you the ABCD method. So number, uh, number A, <laughs> number one, A, letter A, the A is to acknowledge. So what am I acknowledging? You're going to acknowledge what you maybe did in the past weekends. I would say, I, I know you're probably trying to put it behind you and I know what's done is done, what's in the past is in the past, but the reality is if you don't look at what you did, how are you gonna know how to respond differently so that you don't end up in the same place? So my first, first and foremost, the ABCD method, the A is for you to acknowledge what happened in the past weekend, maybe what happened in past weekends, write it down, literally just journal it real quick, just between you and you. You don't have to show anybody unless you're, unless you're in my program and you have me as your coach who's gonna ask for those triggers so that we can work through those together. Of course, that's obviously really helpful, especially if you're trying to do it on your own. But let's say now you acknowledge, okay, Mark, I wrote down, uh, I, you know, I had a busy week. I was stressed out. I just busted open that bottle of wine. I went out with my friends. I just didn't give a rip about my food. I said, ah, screw it. I'll just wait till Monday. I'll start over on Monday. How many times have you said, I'll start over on Monday. Let me just start fresh and new on Monday. Let me just start over on Monday. Let me just forget about it over the weekend. And then that just sends you down a spiral of this trigger and response and feeling guilty and shameful and all that stuff. So the A is to acknowledge. If you can acknowledge right now, what happened, what went wrong over the weekends, then you're truly gonna be in a better place. That, number, that first one, the A, if you get the A right, the rest of them are gonna be much easier. The second part, the number, the number, the B, the second letter, the B in the, my A, B, A, B, D, C method, good morning, Kathy, is to believe. You gotta believe, not, of course you gotta believe a little bit in yourself, but you gotta believe in what you want most. You got to believe if you want to drop 40 or 50 pounds, you got to believe in yourself to want that enough. Like it's one thing to say, yeah, I really want, I really want to lose the 40, 50 pounds. I really want to lose, you know, the weight I've been struggling with for years, but you got to believe it. You can say it with your words, but if you don't, you know, if you don't believe it in your heart, if you don't believe that you want that most rather than just, you know, a couple of indulgence meals over the weekend or, you know, your stress allows you to take over, guess what? That's going to be a hard thing. So you got to start with the A to acknowledge what happened in the past. 
And then you got to believe in yourself or at least here's the other thing is to be around, surround yourself with other people who are going to believe in you. Other people can help support you, help encourage you. You know, in my inner circle, it's one of the things that I love so much about my inner circle family and my, my coaching program is that when people are struggling, other people know what it feels like and we believe in each other. We're on a similar path to get into becoming our best, getting that weight off and getting healthy, getting fit. You know, those are the things that I want you to understand, but you have to believe. So the B in this ABCD method is believe. Now the third, third letter is that's okay to acknowledge what you did in the past. That's great. It's okay to believe in yourself or, you know, have other people believe in you, have a coach that believes in you, but then you got to actually take action. You got to actually carve out. You have to, you got to get your knife out and maybe you have to stab some of the old things that have been, and I'm not talking about people. Maybe you have to stab some of the old habits. Maybe you have to cut some of the old habits and things that you've done on the weekend, maybe sleeping in on the weekend, maybe chillaxing, maybe lounging around, maybe indulging, maybe having too big a breakfast, too big a lunch, too big a dinner, maybe going out late and getting tired, maybe not drinking enough water, whatever it is, right? You have to actually carve out, you literally have to carve out time to do it. Now, here's a quick little side tip. In this getting through the weekends and not just surviving or barely surviving, but thriving through the weekend. When it comes to activity, get your butt up and go out and do something active first thing in the morning on the weekend. Get up early and go do something. Trust me, your weekends are going to be so much better off. You're going to feel so much better. You may even make better choices with your food if you go and do something healthy and active. Go do something active. Go for a walk, go for a bike ride go to the gym, do one of my workouts, you know, whatever it is that's going to encourage you to be on track and stay on track over the weekends. Guess what? The weight's going to stay off and you're going to move right into more success moving forward into the next week. So that's the C is to carve out. Now, the fourth, the fourth is I, I think one of the ones I love to get in touch with is I want you now, now that you've acknowledged it right now, that you've acknowledged what you did in the past what didn't serve you so well, and then you go on to believing, you're believing in yourself or at least surrounding yourself with other people who are gonna believe in you, right? And, and help you and encourage you. And then guess what? You gotta carve out time, you gotta actually do the work and take action. And then the D, which is, one of, is my favorite, you gotta freaking dominate the weekend. Don't let the weekend own you. Don't let it own you. What happens is, the only way you're going to dominate your weekend, the only way you're going to have control over your weight through the weekend is that actually you dominate. How do you do that? You make a freaking plan. You actually make a plan today. You make a plan today. Listen, if you're at work and you get a little break or you're at home and you're working, maybe you're homeschooling your kids or you're at home or maybe your job is on Zoom meetings in between, make a freaking plan. If it matters to you enough and you know that you're gonna be so much better off health-wise, confidence-wise, like just all the way around better off, and you realize that your weekends are your biggest struggles, I'm telling you the only way to charge through your weekends and it is to dominate your weekends. Now, how do you dominate your weekends, Mark? I don't, I don't even know where to start. Well, make a plan. Again, go through the list. Go through the ABC method. Go through A, acknowledge, boom, first thing. Then believe, good. Okay, I don't really believe I can do this. Well, then get yourself a coach, hire, invest in yourself, and get around people who are going to believe in you enough and hold you accountable and keep the support there. And then guess what? You know, I, I say this all the time. I can believe in you. I can support you, but you still got to do the work. You still have to carve the time out if you want to succeed, if you want to truly get that weight off. And then guess what? When you start to carve the time out, guess what happens? Then you start to freaking dominate the weekend. The weekends become easier. And guess what? Then it's like, Mark, so that means I can't enjoy myself. That's actually so far from the truth. In fact, there's a freedom that comes when you have all that kind of support and structure and belief in yourself and you're able to own your weekends rather than the weekends literally keep you locked up in shackles, feel like you're in a prison because it's the same weekend, week out. You go through your week, you have a mediocre week, you maybe forget the workouts and you have all intentions to eat healthy and maybe meal prep on the weekends. And then guess what? And then the habits just fall into place because you didn't acknowledge what you did in the past. You didn't believe in yourself. You didn't carve any time. 
And guess what? Your weekend is totally dominating you. You're not dominating your weekend. So that's my A, B, C, D method. Truly, if you even just pull one of these, it's going to help you through the weekend. And let me know how it goes. You got this. You can totally freaking crush this. And if you're like, Mark, I know that sounds really good on paper. I know what you're saying is true. I, I, I know exactly the things you're saying. It's exactly where I'm struggling. I, I don't even know how to, to get it together. Then what the hell are you waiting for? Why have you not reached out to me to get on a call? Like, I don't understand the purpose. Do you wanna just keep struggling? Do you wanna keep le living mediocre, kind of like normal? The reality is normal is not exciting. Being in the best shape of your life, getting your health and your fitness in lines, being able to do fun, active things. The, the beach season's coming, right? You see the sun coming through. The beach season's coming, be able to fit in a bathing suit, feel comfortable in your own skin, put on that black dress and go out with your husband or dudes, you get able to put, take your shirt off and be comfortable without having that dad bod hanging all over your thighs, right? That's what I'm talking about. That's what it's worth it. Follow my ABCD method over the weekends and you can be successful. You can do this. And if you don't, again, what the heck are you waiting for? Reach out to me. We can freaking do this together, all right?